Ever since the IT revolution, there is one word that all company heads fear. One word that will make even an atheist go, Oh God! That one word is CRM. See, there's a reason why company heads hate it when they see this word on their to-do list. As a company head, your search for a new CRM begins with a consulting firm. The place where they advise you on what you need in a CRM. Features, processes, what impact it should have and yada yada. What they actually do is ask few routine questions, make few slides, hand them over to you and say goodbye, great seeing you, job done. However, for you the battle has just started. Next comes the product. Here you have two choices. Go with one of the 2-3 standard market products. In which case you might as well throw away these slides. Or you can gather the courage and take these slides to a developer. For the developer these slides only represent one thing. A huge task list. And to reduce it he comes up with varied reasons. And with no option you are forced to make compromises and agree to what the developer calls the realistic executable version. He then sticks those remaining slides into his black box and hands you whatever it spits out at the other end. Of course, with a sweet little goodbye note. And finally, you get to the system integrator. He takes those product parts, fits what he can and throws away the rest. After all, he doesn't want to be held responsible. At last, you have the brand new CRM, which is supposed to change the structure of your organization, revolutionize its efficiency, win you many accolades. Or maybe not. At this point, it won't be wrong to wonder how to avoid these mistakes. How to get a product for which you don't have to compromise. In other words, how to do a high impact CRM. When you think of a CRM, you think of features and checklists, some standard questions and the regular answers to them. But what you should really think about is your vision. Vision of what you truly want from your CRM, how it should impact your business. The most important steps for doing a successful CRM would be first, finding, uh, scratch that, discovering the vision. And second, actually transforming this vision into a reality. See, every time your project changes hand, be it in the form of slides or products, it is this vision that is lost at every step. So what's needed is a way to eliminate this passing of the buck. A one-stop shop where all CRM needs are met end to end. Discovering the vision, not by some standard questions, but by series of tests and trials, iterations and reiterations, possibly with ability to view the processes, workflows and layouts on the fly till you find those critical points for maximum impact. And following it up with execution, not by just specialists, but super specialists, so that no type of integration or scale is a challenge. It is only then that you can arrive at that high impact CRM. The CRM which would seamlessly fit into your organization. The CRM that would change the structure, revolutionize the efficiency. The CRM that would take your organization to the next level.